So, as you can see, I have my raven sweater and my radio with me as I start this first reading of Anzus. Or it's not the first reading, but it's one reading that we're doing. And Anzus is my book. But for any of you who are a bit familiar with Norse mythology, you'll know that the rune Anzus is related to communication and insight and opening up to the divine connectivity and all. So that's what this story is about in an original way. So I'm going to read a poem that happens at some point during the book. And this is related to trickster, trickstery communication, because without spoiling the whole story, there's one point in the story where there is a trickster that intervenes and communication is not exactly what it seems. So this is a bit of a trickstery interpretation of by the main characters of some of the things that are happening. Here we go. That winter night, their bed remained cold. That night, the fire died long before the last log caught a blaze. On that cloudy and sparkless night, Trickster showed up, forecasting a long winter, spring, and summer. Ever so long it would be for foreign riders. She air, he land, both were put to work. Hard work, useful work. They helped the natural exchange, catching fish, digging trenches, cooking for folk far and wide. All were happy with these newcomers who had forgotten their cosmic mission, forgotten the call of their foreign gods. Accepted their host's silence as proof that they declined to collaborate in their quest to renewal, that some of the guests were put to work. The communicator Cole Finna was no stranger to the threat, but a new way she now learned. She made first coat, dress, mitts, and hood. She stitched, she built, she taught, and she spoke that year, initiated into the airwaves in her native land. She was even invited to transmit in Skraland, but in her soul-bound craft, her true skill went unseen. People heard utterances and whimpers, cries of her being, her trying to speak their beautiful tongue. But no one heard the fire behind the voice. No one heard her drive or her depth. By midsummer, t'was the death of her foreign flame. And the lad endured his own set of trials. Mikyal, the guide, rider from a folk of warmer climes, though a warrior folk it was. He'd tried to ride with the host land's guides, all through winter and spring. He'd shot and caught with spear, knife, rod, and lance. He'd shared his bounty with the ones who'd become his teachers. But the man could still be a danger. He could turn his spear anywhere or nowhere, a fate worse even still. Member of a foolish folk to the west. He could work, he could learn, but he must be tried before he could be trusted. So let him walk alone. There he will learn where his true loyalties lie. We know all about their calling and destiny, what they were brought here to do, the call of renewal from Ziegfather of the Flares. There's too much risk in their presence and potential. Gradually he will forget he was being watched as one apart, until he falters, until he fails. And then he learns again that he is foreign. An angry member of us will gladly remind him of that. What will Mikyal do then? Will he understand and submit to his place? Or will he remember that he was sent here by some lord of wizardry with a foreign name of which we want no part? Tough choices for the would-be rugged man who still tries and yearns and feels he has to prove. No trying can ever be enough. His strong-willed, strong-handed clan is a foreign clan. That summer will be Mikael's last attempt to prove, as it would be Kolfina's last attempt to burn. And it is there that the veil of sleep is lifted, both awakening to a fading voice, trickster flying off to slumber, Winter still so well entrenched, tis but one path I show. Other summers you still may choose, though other lessons you surely may not. So yes, that's a poem from a trickster's dream in Anzus. Uh, trickster, sometimes the raven is a trickster, sometimes the trickster comes in other forms. But I'm not tricking when I say that Anzus will be out on December 1st. And uh, so it would be lovely if you were interested in this poem to take a look at the rest of the story. Information's on my profile, and uh, hope you enjoy this.
Have a good day.